Hello dear friends and subscribers of my channel are in touch as always, and today I want to show you how to build a mini boat in Minecraft. Be sure to watch this video to the end, and if you like it, then like it. So, let's get started. That's the amount of resources we need to build this miniature, so to speak. Basically, guys, we're going to need resources. This is turquoise ceramics, we will also need sand, water, a spruce hatch. All the subsequent materials we have here are all decorations for water. A spruce half block for the ship itself, plus a step. There are 23 types of plates on the ban of this plate made of dark oak, a spruce and birch plate and one shower flashlight. Guys, that's all we need. So, let's start building. To begin with, guys, from turquoise ceramics we need to put 11 by 7 blocks of a rectangle. So, let's start building. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and turn here. We already have one block. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Excellent and accordingly here. Here the same thing can be calculated. You can already do so and we get such a rectangle 11 by 7 blocks. Now we are expanding it inside by one block. That is, we draw exactly the same line of the inner part of this rectangle. We get the whole thing looks like this now. With that guys, what we have formed here is from grass, well, or for dry blocks you have there, we remove everything and it turns out at the bottom, we also remove the blocks here, respectively, and put sand. Ordinary guys sand. Now on the sand, guys, we pour water completely everywhere here, that is, there is quite a lot of water on the bank. Look, we didn't have a current. And now guys, we need to put the spruce hatches here as follows. So it will be so with us, respectively, already the walls. Also, we will now raise the water by one more block, respectively. We're lifting the hatches now. Everything is very easy and simple. In principle, you can use some other hatches, but these fit there quite well. Now, guys, with a clamped shaft, we have water on our spruce hatches. This is how we get them, water flows, so we need to do it somehow differently then. So, let's place the blocks here now and we will already place water on them. Otherwise, but we guys won't succeed. We do this in this way, we pour out water here, respectively, where we have formed a cross section, we add more water here and, accordingly, in the corners, you can do exactly the same. Well, in principle, guys, we didn't seem to have any current. In order for this not to happen in principle, you can initially put up any auxiliary blocks instead of hatches. Be here, I do not know, the earth, pour water on the ground, for example, and then remove the block and immediately put the hatch. You can do it as you like. After the guys we made our our water, our pond is so small, the guys need to decorate it accordingly with marine elements. Let's use, for example, some corals. I took three types of blue, red and yellow. Let's use blue, for example, like this. The red one will go for example somehow in this way. Let's arrange it here like this. Well, let's put the yellow one here somehow, too, in this way. Great. Now, guys, we need to use bone meal somewhere in the middle, or somewhere along the edges, too, so that he accordingly made some plants himself, yes. Well, or you can do it yourself, as you like. For lighting, guys, I suggest you put sea cucumbers, well, and for beauty, respectively. For example, if you click four times, you get this pretty beautiful lighting. In principle, three is quite enough. Plus, this underwater lighting looks pretty good. You can also use additional marine lanterns. And now guys, we take the following material, we also need a couple more corals for decoration. I took those flowers that we don't have yet. This is our color, respectively, which is more pink and such a purple color. Let's, for example, place one here somewhere, the other here and let's somehow, I do not know, like this. Well, let it be somewhere here. Great. In principle, the guys we give out are completely decorated. That's how it looks like here. Now this one will come, let's move on to the main part to the construction of the actual boat itself. Here, guys, we need to put two, or rather even three half blocks from the middle of the hatch. We immediately remove two of them, and this one, guys, we still kick out the half block plus two half blocks. That is, we should have a distance on the sides of one block, respectively, on the long parts of two blocks, respectively. Now guys, we need to be here, if you look, here we will have the front part of our ship accordingly. In the back, the guys put full-fledged two blocks in this way. Here at the back we need the guys to arrange the spruce step as follows and put a semi-block on it. 
Here, guys, we connect a half block to this block, put a half block on it and push another half block. So the whole thing guys looks pretty easy from the outside. And now guys, on the sides we put two dark oak plaques on one side and on the other, respectively. That's how the whole thing looks like. Guys, we make the back part of our ship with the help of spruce plaques, respectively, so we close them. Here, guys, in the middle of these two full-fledged blocks, we put birch plaques in the following way and with a clamped shaft we put one more on top of each other in this way. Well, in front of the guys of our boat here we hang a shower flashlight for lighting. In principle, that's all. That's the kind of mini boat we got. Pretty pretty, pretty fast and does not require any expensive resources. That's the kind of video we got, who liked it, then guys be sure to like it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Videos are released on my channel absolutely every day. All guys, thank you all for watching, have a nice day, good luck to everyone and bye bye to everyone.